Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sellers. In this recording, we're gonna go over what are those exact steps that your participants need to know in order to be actively engaged in your Poll Everywhere setup, okay? So this is information directly from support.polleverywhere.com. We're gonna follow the instructions under join the presenter session. So after you follow the steps to set up your Poll, in order for your participants to be able to join your session via text, these are the steps that they need to follow. Okay, so to join a session, participants will text the presenter's username to the appropriate text message number. In the example below, the participant text pollster123 to the number 22333. Okay, usernames with no spaces are not case sensitive. Participants may or may not receive a message back indicating that they've joined the presenter session. Okay, so if you want to go ahead and pull out your phone, you can walk through the steps with me. Now, this is just an example, okay? But the phone number you would first put in would be 22333, okay? And then once you put the phone number in, the message that you would put in in the field right here in the send section is going to be pollster123, okay? Remember that it's not case sensitive and there are no spaces. Once you put in pollster123, it will tell you you have joined Mary McCauley Stiff's session, okay? In parentheses, it is pollster123. Next, after you have joined the presenter session, you can respond to the activated activity. Participants only need to join the session once by text. After joining, text responses will automatically be applied to the active question. So if you've already connected with Dr. Seller's poll system, then you will not need to type in the connection code, which is, for this example, it would be pollster123. And for Dr. Seller's, for my poll, it is Bridget Sale, S-E-L-L-263. Okay, we're going to talk about an example in a second um, to go ahead and test out Dr. Seller's poll to make sure that you are all set, okay? So if participants join the wrong session or need to join a different session, they can text LEAD to exit an active session. Participants will remain paired with the presenter for 48 hours or until they text LEAD. If an activity has change answer enable, participants can change a response by texting undo or clear and then submitting a new response, okay? All right, and then I'm gonna show this last section and then I want you to go ahead and try. Um, then we're gonna go into the steps for you to try one of my polls that is currently active. This is one that stays active. So no matter when you're watching this video recording, you will be able to participate in one of my polls, okay? So next it says, once participants respond, they will see their responses updated in real time on the presenter screen, okay? So what you wanna do, if you are the presenter, you wanna make sure that you are sharing the poll, okay, once you activate it. There's a separate video that is available and it is part of this recording on Loom, there's a link right here in the description that will give you instructions of how to access the presenter video that is published by Poll Everywhere to ensure you're following all the steps in the process to set up your first poll. But it's super easy once you set up your first one. Um, it's a little tricky, of course, the first one, as it always is with technology, but once you've set up one poll, you will get the hang of it. So you can see here, this screen gives the participants an option, okay? It tells you when the poll is active, you can respond. This is the website that your participants can choose to go to. So you can type in to your internet browser, pollev.com slash pollster123, okay? And then what you would do is there would be a screen that would pop up that would give you these options and you'd be able to participate in the poll again by using your web browser, the internet to type in pollev.com slash um, and then you would type in whatever the presenter's 
poll name is. Okay, this one is the example is poster one, two, three. My poll is Bridget Sale, S E L L 263. So that is B R I D G E T T S E L L 263. On Loom, you can see the link right here in the um, upper right hand corner for you to be able to go ahead and click the poll. OK, so you can go ahead and do that now or you can wait to the end of this video recording. The rest of the sections here that you're going to see is just how you would respond to an open ended activity. OK, and then um, this is also just giving you uh, a screenshot of what the reply may be. OK, so that's in essence what you will the steps that you will follow to actively participate in a poll. Now, for Dr. Sellers' poll, for my poll, you can go ahead and type in, again, the poll link is going to be Bridget Sale 263 Okay, so you can type in pollev.com slash Bridget, S-E-L-L-263. Okay, and then the poll you can participate in is going to be around um, what one word comes to mind when you see, when I say pedagogy, okay, so that poll is open for responses. So you can feel free to go ahead and respond to that poll. The poll number is 37607. Again, the poll number is 37607. And you should be able to participate in that poll. That one stays open. Okay, if you get an error message, just let me know and I will be glad to clear that for you. Every now and again, I do have to clear the responses, but hopefully this information has been helpful. And if you have any other questions about how to respond to, the, to polls, again, this is where you can come back to poll everywhere's um, support.polleverywhere.com and they will give you, um, you'll see a lot of great resources to help you along the way. All right. Well, I hope this video has been helpful. Feel free to email us info at drsellerseducate.com or you can go ahead and take a look in the description right here in this Loom video and you will see additional um, instructions about resources that are available. Thanks, everybody. Have a great one. Bye bye.